Hey, what's up everyone? You're here with Gora from Pig Dogs. Thank you for joining me here. Uh, we are here to talk about the, the three EPL games we have on Sunday, January 22nd. Uh, not a lot of games uh, on, on Sunday in the EPL, guys, but we have three very interesting games and uh, should be a very fun day starting off at 9 a.m. and uh, finishing off with that big, big, big matchup between Arsenal and Manchester United at 11.30 a.m. So uh, make sure you stay tuned, make sure you check out the rest of the free picks up on the Pig Dogs YouTube channel. And of course, uh, all your likes and, and uh, if you subscribe uh, to the Pig Dogs channel, uh, channel on the youtube it's uh, much appreciated so uh, thank you for that guys but like i said we have three games in the epl on sunday and we are kicking off with this uh, leeds versus brantford matchup uh, that's a 9 a.m game between two teams uh that are kind of a on the opposite uh, sides of a form right now uh, leeds had a few few promising results as of late they have only one loss in their last five games but uh, they haven't won the EPL uh, game since uh, before the World Cup and that is something they will definitely try to change here because uh, we saw in that game last week against Aston Villa uh, which they lost to one that uh, if they put their opponents under pressure if uh, they focus a little bit more in that attack again they are capable of creating a decent amount of chances and they're capable of creating a good looking chances with uh, some nice and open shots and stuff like that and that's actually what got them a goal uh, late in that second half. But uh, unfortunately, it just wasn't enough for them to get a positive result out of that game. Uh, earlier this week, Leeds was playing Cardiff uh, in, uh, in the FA Cup. And that's a game they won 5-2. Uh, uh, in the second half, they made a few substitutions. Gave a break to some of those starters uh, in preparation for this game. And uh, they will definitely need all the help they can get for this matchup. Because... Uh, Brentford has lost only one of their last six games uh, and uh, they did a solid job so far on the road. They have two wins, four draws and three losses. Uh, they have been scoring a decent number of goals on the road. However, they have also been averaging two conceded goals per game on the road. And that is a problem because Leeds is a very solid when it comes to scoring goals at home. And I actually think this is a pretty good spot for, for Leeds to kind of break that, uh, that bad streak they have in the EPL at, at the moment. Uh, and, and as good as Leeds was uh, offensively uh, at home this season, they are still conceding goals and uh, they have conceded quite a few goals in, in their last uh, four games. Uh, two, four, six, uh, seven goals in those four games. Uh, their defense is not that, that solid right now and uh, that's a chance for Brentford to get to the scoreboard, which I think they will. Uh, but honestly, just to take... Uh, the volatility out of this pick i will stick to over two and a half goals at minus 150 i believe that uh if you take both teams to score as well you're getting better price uh and that's something that i believe it's gonna hit in this game but like i said i'm gonna try to remove all the volatility i can out of this game and uh, i'm simply gonna stick to over two and a half goals at minus 150 might even combine it with something else and put it in a nice double uh, that will get us a nice plus money out of this game uh, second matchup of the day in the EPL, guys, is between Manchester City and Wolverhampton. It's also a 9 a.m. game. And uh, after that spectacular uh, turnaround in the second half uh, in that game against Tottenham, Manchester City is now filled with confidence. They look like they're back being their, their, their old selves. The team capable of scoring goal on every single chance they create. And... Uh, that second half performance is something that Manchester City strives for uh, this season and that's something they want to do in, 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 in every game and they pretty much done it for majority of the games but uh, after the restart they haven't been themselves, they haven't been as effective as we know they can be but uh, like I said that sensational turnaround uh, in, in, in that second half game against Tottenham uh, has really lifted them up and uh, I think that Wolverhampton will suffer in this game greatly to be honest. Uh, Holland got back on the score sheet uh, and uh, a few other players such as Riyad Mahrez who had two goals in that game against Tottenham if I'm not mistaken and uh, like I said they are confident now they're playing well and uh, I think that will continue in this game as well. As far as Wolverhampton goes uh, 
they have had some solid results since signing uh, Lepotegu as their head coach. However, they have only one win in their last six games and uh, they are still kind of struggling with uh, their offense. They lost uh, to Liverpool in the FA Cup earlier this week. It was 1-0. However, uh, we know that Liverpool is not as effective uh, offensively as we are used to seeing them. Uh, against West Ham uh, last week, Wolverhampton got a nice win. It was 1-0 and it was a late win. It was like 88 or 89 minute, if I'm not mistaken. And uh, that certainly was a nice confidence boost. Now they have to build upon it. But uh, they are in quite an unfortunate situation right now because they are facing this Manchester City team, the team that is pretty pissed off right now and uh, the team that uh, is not going to take, take, take their foot out of the gas pedal in this game even if they scored three goal in, uh, goals in the first half. So uh, in this one, guys, we had to look quite deeply uh, to, to kind of find the value or, or, and uh, I decided to go with uh, City to score in both halves at minus 138. Like I said, they are now confident, they are in a great mood, and uh, it seems that they've gotten some of that uh, effectiveness back from before the World Cup. So, I'm taking City to score in both halves, uh, half, and this uh, is minus 138 price. It's, it's a pretty solid price, if you ask me, and uh, definitely worth a shot. And as I mentioned, guys, we are closing off the EPL day on Sunday uh, in this matchup between Arsenal and Manchester United. We have two teams in excellent form. Uh, Arsenal still doing fantastic job, still at the top of the table. Uh, they are still undefeated at home this season with seven wins and only one uh, draw. Uh, I think they look fantastic. I think they're a very, very solid team. They have everything they need to win the title this season. Their defense is amazing right now. Uh, their offense is producing chances. Their midfield is very controlling and... Uh, that uh, trio of uh, of of uh, uh, Martin Odegaard, uh, Chaka, and uh, can't remember his name right now, but they have been very dominant this season, and that is basically, I think, the engine of this Arsenal team. Uh, defensively, like I said, very solid. Only 14 goals conceded so far in the EPL, uh, while they are also one of the best offensive team, uh, just just behind Manchester City with 42 scored goals, and like I said, they're doing a fantastic job, they're marching toward that title, and if anybody deserves the title this season, it is, uh, it is Arsenal, definitely. Uh, as far as their injury goes, uh, they got a few injured players, but uh, those players have been out for a while now, except for uh, El Neri, who got hurt a couple of weeks ago, if I'm not mistaken, but still, uh, this is the team that has quite a few uh, that has enough depth right now so that so that they don't have to worry about those injured players. Uh, as far as Manchester United goes, they have a huge, huge, huge uh, missing player, and that is Casemiro, who is suspended because of those yellow cards. Uh, and uh, in the first half of that game against Crystal Palace, they were absolutely dominant. They, they should have scored at least one more goal in the first half. But then the second half, they became sloppy. They lost focus and uh, they just didn't look like that team from the first half and it cost them because Crystal Palace scored a late goal to tie the game and it ended uh, in a 1-1 draw with which Manchester United ended uh, their 7 game winning streak uh, which is quite a shame if you ask me because they were looking absolutely amazing and uh, they might even uh, get into that title race in the EPL because they are now in 4th place with 39 points and uh, that is the Champions League spot, but still, I feel like this Manchester United team can do a still better despite uh, missing uh, some of their best players and uh, having quite a few injuries. I mean, this is United's second game on, on, on the road in the row now because uh, they played against Crystal Palace on the road as well. Uh, and they're facing a fantastic team in, 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 in Arsenal. Team still, still undefeated at home, but... Uh, they have been in very good form and uh, I'm not sure if Arsenal can keep uh, four clean sheets in a row. They played some strong opponents uh, over the last few weeks and uh, I feel like uh, they are bound to concede at least one goal in this game. Uh, which is why I decided to go with both teams to score in over two and a half and even money. Should be a very fun game, should be a big derby matchup and uh, 
We'll see. Maybe Manchester United gets the win here to kind of close the gap between themselves and Arsenal and uh, join into that title race in the EPL. But uh, as of right now, I'm taking both teams to score and over 2.5 at, at plus 100, guys. That's it, guys. These were your free uh, EPL picks for Sunday, January 22nd. Should be a very fun morning in the EPL. So uh, stay tuned. Uh, check out the rest of the free picks. And for my best bets, go to the Pink Dogs website. Go to the previous section and see what I have up there. Subscribe to all of those passes. And uh, good luck with your bets, guys.